Yes, good morning, everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install SAP GUI program. And this SAP GUI program is also called SAP Logon. So this program is necessary to access the server online and to do your practice. Right? So in the today's video's description, I will add one link. Right. So with the help of that link, you can download the SAP GUI program. Okay. So this link, you can find this link in the video description, right? So using this link, you can download the SAP GUI program. So copy the link and you can paste it in the browser. Now it will be taking you to my Dropbox. So from there, right, you can download the SAP GUI program. So GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. So this graphical user interface is necessary to access the server online and to do your practice. So here, in order to open this program, you have to uh, install one more a small program that is called WinRAR, right? So you have to install the WinRAR program. So this WinRAR program also you can download from the Google and it's a free program. So you can just go to Google. Then here you just type download WinRAR program. Right? So from here, you can download the WinRAR program and you can open the SAP GUI program. WinRAR program is very much necessary to open the SAP GUI program. Now go to the downloads. Now double click on this SAP GUI. Here, this program is two times downloaded in my system, right? That's what it is saying SAP GUI 1 and SAP GUI 2, right? So you double click on SAP GUI program. Then you double click on this NW underscore 2004 S underscore presentation. Then again, you double click on press one. Then again, you double click on GUI. Then double click on Windows. Then double click on Windows 32. Then double click on SAP setup, sorry. Double click on this setup all exe. It takes a little bit time to open the file. Then the system will give you one message regarding the security of this file. You just click on yes. Then you please click on next button. Now you select SAP GUI for Windows 7.10. Then again, you click on next button. Now you click on browse. You click on browse. Now you select the desktop, you select the desktop, then click on OK. Means this program is going to be installed on your desktop and the icon also will be there in the desktop. After this, you click on next. Now it is being installed in your system. It takes three, four minutes to get it installed based on the configuration of your laptop or desktop. The SAP GI program is installed. Now you get this message finish, right? Then you click on finish. Now you can see the SAP GI program on your desktop. Just a minute. Here. So this is the SAP logon icon, right? Now you have to include the server details in this logon program. For that, you double click on SAP logon icon. Then you click on new item. This is the new item button, right? After that, again, you click on next. So here you have to enter the description of your server, application server IP address, system number, and system ID. So once you enter all these details here, the next button will be highlighted, right? Or finish button will be highlighted. 
then you click on finish. So for the server details, you contact your trainer. Your trainer will provide you all this information, server IP address, system number, system ID, right? So once you enter all these details, you can click on this finish button. So once you enter all these details, the finish button will be highlighted. Then you can click on finish button. From then onwards, you can enter the, from then onwards, you'll be able to access the server. Of course, the version what I have installed here is a little bit older version. As far as the server access is concerned, right? The versions does not much difference. The versions does not make much difference. It is only for the purpose of accessing the server online and for doing the practice, right? For example, this is my server. So you select the server again, then you double click on log on icon. On log on. Now you enter your user and password and also client number. And the client number, user and passwords are also provided by your trainer. Okay. Thank you so much. And please subscribe to my channel, right? To enable me to upload many more videos like this. Tomorrow, I am going to upload one more entry course, right? Today, I have uploaded only this procedure to install the SAP GUI. I hope for it's very helpful to all of you. Thank you.